Etta Bond. Hello, Ellie. What we are doing to make this happen right now. I know. You are absolutely incredible. You know how much I love you. I love you. Oh, I don't know if we've got time for a moment. No, we don't. You are releasing a double-sided album. I am indeed. You know what's refreshing and nostalgic at the same time? It's called a double-sided album. Mm -hmm. Nobody does that anymore. Yeah. Do they Why not? Did you? I don't know. I'm no. not really. I don't, I'm very bad at paying attention to what's going on most of the time. So. Why did you do it? Um, do you know what? It was actually just a very natural process. Mm -hmm. I had the first side of the album, which is coming out next week. Uh, He's not mine. I made that first, and I kind of lived through those those songs, and and then um, and then I happened to live through the second half. So it wasn't. I actually only had one side to start with. But you've got one side, he's not mine. One side is called he's not mine. And one side is he's mine. He's mine, So yes. obviously it's, it's pretty self-explanatory, no? Yeah, I kind of like was, I was, the first side is kind of more about like when I was in sort of like unhealthier relationships and just in a less healthy place in my life. Mm. And then he's mine is kind of, is is when I'm in a, in a be, in better relationships and just like in a healthier place. Just a, even in a, just a healthier relationship with myself. Yeah, so um, important. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Your music is so empowering. Thanks, Bees. I feel like whatever you're going through, there's going to be a song for you as a per like whatever mm -hmm. emotion you're going. Well, for. I'm hoping that as well with this with this double sided mm -hmm. album that it really takes you on a journey from like me in a in a in a kind of bad place and then being in a good place. So I think whatever your situation right now, you'll relate and hopefully yeah. you know if you are in a bad place, you'll be able to sort of envision light at the end of the tunnel you know as a very strong independent woman who's been in this game for a very long time a while yes a long long yes. long time oh, right, not that long sorry um <laughs> <laughs> what struggles have you faced being a woman specifically um i do always find this this sort of question a little bit difficult because i genuinely do think because as well um just because women go through things more so. I think yeah, there's a lot of things we're more typic, like we're, women typically go through more than men. But it doesn't mean that it's only only women yeah. that go through that stuff. You know, I, there's a lot of pressure, you know, to, of how we look and, you know, to look a certain way, our bodies, our makeup, our skin, our everything. Yeah, but, course. you know, in this day and age, there's actually that kind of pressure on guys too, you know what I'm saying? I completely a lot. agree, but it's only someone like you can actually vocalise that in this yeah. moment. Well, yeah, I'm, so, so, I, I, there have been struggles, but I think I kind of just, I don't, I just don't let anything stop me, and that is the be all and end, end all of it, do you know what I'm saying? Nothing will ever stop me. Um, I believe that's quite an innate quality to have. I just think people like us are just unstoppable. <laughs> um, <laughs> In terms of moving forward, you've got exciting things coming up. You've got mm -hmm. your tour. Mm -hmm. My tour, I've got Europe tour at the end of this month, mm -hmm. um, March and April, I'm doing the UK tour. Mm -hmm. um, we're here with PRS, yes. Girls I Rate. Yes. Um, in terms of this sort of platform, do you think it's important for artists like yourself to support these sorts of occasions? Of course. I mean, from Girls I Rate to PRS, they're both on, like, in their own, for their own rights and own reasons, like, very important platforms. Yeah. And, you know, PRS, thank you. Thank you, Momentum, because they're, they've, they're, they've been, you know, giving me, like, they've given me a little bit of funding to, you know, put towards being creative and doing what I love. And as an independent artist, that's just so important and so helpful because it, Definitely. you know, otherwise I'm just, I just, well, I just, well, I'm broke, all right? Okay. And, um, <laughs> and, um, and Girls I Rate, <laughs> and Girls I Rate, I just love your hair so much. And Girls I Rate is obviously just, it's just an important, any place where there's, you know, where women can come together and just share their energy and whatever, that is just and you, powerful. And they create friends, because we yeah. met, did we meet here? No, sorry. I can't Stop remember. That. They do create friends though, just not us. <laughs> just not us. Um, it didn't make us. This is an important <laughs> question for me. Okay, go Because on. I feel like you've evolved quite a lot as a person in life. Okay, I think so. What would you say to the 15 year old Etta? <laughs> a bit emotional. Mm. Do you know what? Again, with this sort of thing, the sort of person I am, I don't really have a lot of advice for myself because as people, we really don't listen to advice other than the lessons that life slaps us with. Oh, so, if I went back to my 15 year old self and tried to, I probably wouldn't listen. Do you know what I mean? That this would be is the issue. Really great advice. So, but that, but it's true. It's Honestly, true. It's true. I, I could give advice till cows come home, but unless you go out there, live and learn, and like, you know, 
life will teach you. 100%. Everybody's path is different. And like my mum says, you're young, show your bum. I mean, do you want me to? Let's see. Okay. 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 Etta, thank you so much. Oh, wait, what are you saying? My manager's telling me I need to say something. Oh, I'm... Uh, she's not young. Oh. Anyway, bye, Etta. Goodbye. Oh, bye. bye.